Hi, how often should you blog for B2B? What's the impact on unsubscribes? And should you email every one of your blogs? How often should you blog for B2B? As often as you can say something valuable. Certainly no less often than monthly, and email your blog once a week, even if you blog less often. But where do you get the time and the content to blog that often? I'm going to give you a strategic answer so you get your message right, and I'm going to give you a tactical answer or a practical answer to make it really easy for you to get lots of content together. The foundation is a monthly blog. If you haven't been publishing a monthly blog for the last couple of years, just fix that first. Do nothing else, just fix it. So where do I get the content? Well, there's a strategic answer and a tactical one. Strategic answer, identify the problem that you solve the best, then identify the five common causes of that problem, the five most common consequences of that problem, and the five trigger events that suddenly bring that problem to the surface if it was sitting below the surface until now. Think about mergers, lost customers, one customers, uh, new product, their trigger events. That's the strategic answer and that'll make sure that your content is all about the problem that you solve the best. Here's the tactical, practical answer. Create a journal. Consider using Evernote, it's my favourite tool for this purpose. And every time you solve a problem for somebody, write it down in the journal. Every time you wish your product or service had a feature, ask yourself why you wish it had that feature. What new problem would it solve that it doesn't already solve? There's your list of topics. Is more better? Well, check out this graph from HubSpot. I've got a link to that in the show notes that you can check out the full article. Definitely worth a read. Question again, is more better? The answer simply is yes. More content means more visitors, means more opportunities to sell. It is that simple. And if you email your blog as well as just post it, the returns are even greater. Well, how often should you email your blog to your list? Well, if you haven't been blogging every month, then again, you're gonna start right there. Just get in the habit of sending a monthly email. If you're already producing a monthly blog, then consider every two weeks. That is one new article and one from the archives, every two weeks. If you can, get it to every week. Now you can go further than that, but in B2B, I'd argue once a week is enough. One great email every week, maybe a new one, a new blog, maybe one from the archives, maybe you can sneak a piece of demand generation in there as well maybe a second new one as well, so that would require you to be producing two blogs a month. As often as you can, maybe more often than you're actually blogging, getting to once a week would be great. Starting at once a month, if you're not there, is where you need to start. So, net-net, how often should you blog in B2B? As often as you can say something valuable, certainly no less often than monthly, and email your blog once a week, even if you blog less often. Blogging is the absolute staple of your nurture campaign. It's how you recycle leaked leads and it's how you remain positioned in the category with your market. Blog as often as you can, but don't get it confused with your demand generation tactics. Certainly in your blog email have a call to action to the blog itself and on the blog itself don't be afraid to have a call to action at the end to a demand generation tactic. And I'm gonna offer you one in just a moment from ourselves. We do it every week. I'm recommending you do the same thing. So don't get it confused with your demand generation, but don't be afraid on the blog article on the website to have a call to action to your demand gen tactic. Don't do that in the email. That'd be my recommendation. String all your tactics together in your funnel plan. Nurturing is a staple. Demand generation is a piece. What are your other demand generation tactics? What's next and next and next? You need to string all of those tactics together so that sales and marketing agree what the go-to-market is, how you're going to find and win new customers. If you don't have a funnel plan, go get a free one now. Go to funnelplan.com. Get yourself a free funnel plan and the tactics are already preloaded. Get a free funnel plan at funnelplan.com. 
do that now. Get together with your sales counterpart and build out your plan. Hope you got value out of this week's show. I enjoyed putting it together for you. Thank you so much for listening. Look forward to seeing you next week. And until then, may your funnel be full and always flowing. Our thanks this week to you for listening through to the end of the show. To HubSpot for their great article, How Often Should Companies Blog? Check it out. To Rihanna Busler for production. My name's Hugh McFarlane and it's been my absolute pleasure to have scripted and presented this week's show.